What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough, the 2023 edition. Alrighty, so, in our last episode, we, well, we got to see another kid capture a rare Pokemon. Yeah, that's not, that, that, that right there doesn't sit well with me. And, uh, yeah, we got to capture quite a few Pokemon, and, uh, yeah, one of those Pokemon happens to be Seablade, the Wingle. And again, many of you guys are, like, not too happy about it. Well, it really doesn't matter, because it's not gonna be a permanent member on our team, it's just, you know, it's just a Pokemon that we kinda need for this one. And yes, I did train it up to level 10 right here, so I was kinda hoping it would learn, like, a new move, but it hasn't done so. So, we're gonna be going into the Petalburg Woods. And this place right here is home to a bunch of grass type and uh, bug type Pokemon. Well, like I said, a bunch of bug type worm, uh, bug type Pokemon right here. And uh, before we use a repel, let's go right here, and you will find yourself a potion. Now that right there is a useful item for us. And we got to step outside right here and grab this little thing. And look at that, we found ourselves another Pokeball which is also pretty darn cool. So, let's go back into the entrance of the Petalburg Woods. So, our adventure will be taking us to Rustboro City. Right here, you're gonna be finding yourself some interesting Pokemon. And as you can see, I got a whole bunch of Pokemon. Go, 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 my bug Pokemon team. And uh, yeah, that right there is not a good sign. So, as always, we're going to be speeding up most of these battles because, well, they're not really that important, guys. So, let's go right ahead and water gun these people away. Let's even it out just a little bit. Look at that. Wurmple not taking a, you know, not doing so well. So, let's go right ahead again with another water gun. And we have defeated Lyle. Yes! Okay, so, let's go right ahead and use a repel. And luckily for us, Zigzagoon has found one while we were off screen and grab this we got ourselves a paralysis heal and well another pokemon you can actually find right here is a shroomish if you guys haven't gotten or if you guys didn't choose uh trico as your starter pokemon i would suggest getting yourself a shroomish because that guy turns into a fighting uh, grass type pokemon later on now once you go over here there's this gentleman looking around he's like hmm not one to be found Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. And, uh, well, look at this guy here. He's like, I was going to ambush you, but you had a dawdle in the Petalburg Woods. Forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Aye! You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please! Hmm. What do you think you're doing? Wait, you're going to protect them? No one crosses Team Aqua and gets mercy, any mercy, not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Okay, so it turns out we're digging on a Team Aqua member, and this happens to be very important. So, let's go ahead and take on this guy. It's a Team Aqua Grunt. And yes, they will be specializing, or specializing with a uh, Dark-type Pokemon around here. So here we go, quick attack for the win, not really. And, well, there's the raising of the attack. Now, I first wanted to use Poochiana as a Pokemon for my team, but then I was like, I don't think that would be a good idea because, well, I've tried Poochiana before. I thought it would have been a good addition, but really, yeah, there's not a lot of, uh, yeah, there's not a lot of stuff that, you know, Poochiana can do in this generation. It's not like in Alpha Sapphire or Mega Ruby where... You know, depending on your starter, you get yourself a elemental biting attack right there. Grr, you've got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we are Team Aqua are also or we of Team Aqua are also after something in the Rustboro. I'll let you go today. Hmm. Whew, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of important papers. I know, I'll give you a great ball as a my thanks. And there it is, we got ourselves a great ball. Very useful item. Didn't that Team Aqua Thug say that they were after something in the Rustboro too? Uh-oh. It's a crisis! I can't be wasting time! Hmm. Well, we got something uh, to talk about later on, and well, we're gonna be going on 
forward right here, and before we do anything, grab this. Found ourselves another Pokeball. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Hey, Zigzagoon, come on, help me out, man. Find something. And here we have another Bug-type trainer. Let's go right ahead and battle him. And as you guys can see, his name is James. He's got nothing but bug types. Ninkata is a special kind of Pokemon because it is both a ground and bug type. And, well, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys its other weakness right here. And here we go, water gun attack. And bam. Gotta love that sound right there. Alrighty, so we have defeated this guy. Sea Blade, level 11. Still doesn't grow, or still doesn't learn any kind of flying type move. Holy crud. Alrighty, so let's go right here. And we found ourselves an ether. Definitely something we need. And, well, let us continue on right here. Okay, so here we are in Route 104. And we're going to grab these cherry berries. They could be useful. Cannot wait to use these cherry berries. And let's go ahead and grab this. We got ourselves two Oran berries. And that one is good to go. Now, if you talk to this gentleman, he's going to be like, I like filling my mouth with seeds, then spitting them out fast. You can have this, so try it out. Use it on a Pokemon, and it will learn a move firing seeds rapidly. And here we have the TM09, which is Bullet Seed. And I know exactly who I want to give it to. Now, before we do, before we go in, in there, let's go ahead and use a Repel right here and avoid att getting attacked by Pokemon. And let's gr go ahead and grab some secret items right here. And let's see, grab this. Here we go with the potion. And let's see, let's go right here. Here we found ourselves a super potion. And I think there might be one more around here. I could be wrong. Nope. Nope, okay, so we've discovered everything. Now, let's go into the pretty pop Pretty Petal Flower Shop. I can't even pronounce that right. And, uh, hello? This is the Pretty Petal Flower Shop, spreading flowers all over the world. Your name is... Draven? That's a nice name. Draven, would you like to learn about the berries? Sure. Berries grow on trees, and they thrive on, uh, or they, that thrive on only loam, uh, soft and loamy soil. If you take some berries, be sure to plant one in the loamy soil again. A planted berry will soon sprout. Grow into a, a plant, flower beautifully. Then grow in berries again. I want to see the whole world, wide world filled with beautiful flowers. That's my dream. Please help me, Draven. Plant berries and bring more flowers into the world. Okay. And I think if you have to talk to this girl, she will actually give you a pail. A Wilmer pail. Of course, courtesy says that you have to, you know, pick a berry, put it in the ground. That way it can sprout again. I, of course, don't do that. I, I, I really don't. I don't know. And if you talk to her, she will give you an orange berry, which will, you know, be useful for you, uh, for a Pokemon to hold and all that crud. And, well, let's see. I think we're done with this. Let's go ahead and start battling again. Now, we got a rich boy coming up. Let's go ahead and switch up our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Sage. Okay. Bring it on. Oh, sure. I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. Mm, okay, a lot of money. That means uh, get more Pokeballs, get some stuff. And well, here we have Rich Boy Winston, and he's gonna be coming out with a Zigzagoon. All right, let's go right ahead. Let's go with an Absorb. There we go. Quick Attack and Pound Attack. Of course, this guy has a full Restore because he's rich. And just like that, we've defe defeated Winston, and we get ourselves some more money. And uh, thankfully, this guy will return to us, or return, uh, want to battle us uh, later on when, you know, we get the Pokenav. Let's go ahead and switch out right here. Let's go with Sea Blade. And let's go. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, sure, I will battle. Okay, that is the question. Okay, so here we go, taking on Lass Haley. And she will be coming out with her low tat, so yes, we're going to be... Going with a super po or super sonic. Come on. There we go. Confused. And there we go. We're gonna try and beat this Pokemon with our super sonic and and yeah, okay. This you see the reason why I uh, I speed up these battle these battles because well <laughs> it's things like these that prolong everything. So here we go, Z Blade come back. Let's go with Sage of the Halo right here. 
And let's go with a quick attack. Quick attack again, and of course we get poisoned because of its uh, its spore. And well, there we go. We're level 14, and we get some money so for winning. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and well heal our poison Pokemon right here. And let's see. There is something we need to talk about, and that is double battles. Now in Generation 3, guys, double battles were introduced. And there are these two trainers right here. Now, they're, they're the twins. Normally, in Generations 1 and 2, you wouldn't battle the twins, and it would be a single-player single, uh, single player battle. But now that there are twins, you can actually battle them in a double battle. And in Pokemon Emerald, they make a big emphasis on Pokemon double battles. In J... What was it called? In Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, there was only, like, maybe, I would like to say, 10 double battles at the most. Even one gym leader battle at double... Like, there was a double battle. In Generation 3, going into Emerald, they've enhanced that by... By a lot, because, well, you're gonna see... You're gonna, you guys are gonna soon see the Pokemon gym battles right there when we take on them. And let's go with that. Oh, crap, Baskets, I hit myself. Okay. Why would I hit my opponent, or my teammate? And there we go, we have defeated our, our opponents right here. <laughs> wow. Okay, so let's move on right here. And we do have a fisherman that might be using some uh, Magikarp all over again. So, let's go ahead and talk to him. Why keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert. Huh? You don't know me? Not really. Okay, so... Here we go, taking on Fisherman Ivan, and yes, he's coming out with a Magikarp, so we're going to have to speed this one up. Let's go with Absorbs, and there we go again, Absorb, and again, Absorb. Okay, so that's some experience points that we did, <laughs> definitely needed. Alright, let's get some, uh, let's go and get some berries right here. Look at that, berry number one and two, cherry berries. And then we got two Lepa berries, and just like that, boom. And again, courtesy is plant a berry. I don't know if I want to do that right here. And well, here we go. Chesto berry for the win. I think that right there wakes up our Pokemon. Okay, so before we get into Rustboro, let's go right ahead and go towards the outskirts of Rustboro and grab this. Here we have a an X defend. Definitely something that we might be needing going into the next gym battle right here. And, well, I think that's pretty much it right there, guys. Here we are in Rustboro City, officially. Big, big city. Lots of stuff that we need to do. We got to cover. And, yeah, in the next episode, guys, we will be going into a lot of these houses right here, grabbing a few items and all that stuff, and then it will culminate to us battling Roxanne, the very first gym leader of the Hoenn region. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being patient. And we'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.